When Silent Hill 2 Remake was announced, I found myself in the skeptical department of the community. I mean, we had our fair share of good, if not exceptional, remakes like RE2 and RE4, but we also saw these remakes could end up being an easy cash grab. Looking at you here, Resident Evil 3, yeah you. Furthermore, Silent Hill 2 is not just a classic fan favorite game. I really think that Silent Hill 2 is a genre defining, maybe even an era defining game. It marked something new, fresh, never seen before. The overall tone, setting, storytelling, atmosphere and gameplay, it all came together in one of the best psychological survival horror experiences of all time. Blooper, Blooper team as a developer, had some big shoes to fill. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Movement6. If you're new here, help a small channel out and drop a like, sub, and leave a comment. Now, as a developer, Blooper Team, well, it's done all right, I guess. The Layers of Fear games are actually pretty decent. The VR experience of that game was also pretty nice. The medium had its moments, but damn, Silent Hill 2, boys? Talking again about these big shoes to fill. Would not surprise me that as a studio, you can see yourself in some financial trouble if you mess this one up. Unfortunately, the early gameplay that was shown did not really help the case for Silent Hill 2 being in good hands with Blooper. It was extremely rough and did not give that Silent Hill look and feel we all need to see. The criticism from the community and fan base wasn't mild. Heck, people actually feared what was going to come. Yeah, sure, Blooper Team stressed that this was an early build, but why showing it? Finish the game, make some great teases with great tailors, trailers and, and build the hype. I really do not understand why developers want to push this out. To please the fans? Question mark? Job failed. Come on, guys. We need the final builds, not the early builds. A few months later, Silent Hill 2 Remake is released. Pre-ordering the game granted people who did 48 hours head start of the people who didn't. Because you know my, <laughs> my stance on pre-ordering in the digital ace. I went for I will wait when it's released option. But hey, that's, that's just me guys. I fully understand if you pre-order a game. What we eventually got is the best homage to the original. Developers clearly understood the mood, the atmosphere, loneliness and eerie dreamy vibe of the original. All the way from the look, the feel, presentation, all the way through the dialogues themselves. I maybe want to go that far that the early build of the gameplay that was shown actually helped in that process. Maybe. I don't know, but it does seem that they took the criticism to heart and gave us this remake. If fan feedback is the goal of an early build release, I could make some room for understanding the concept. I could. Obviously, the game is not perfect, by all means. It does suffer from some technical issues, which I will address later. But these can be considered as minor, maybe even fixable quite easy. One of the good things is the length. Where the original clocks in around 8 hours of experience, the remake at least doubles that. A bit depending on how slow pace you play, how much you enjoy the environments and how much you explore, obviously. What gives me the mixed feelings is the sound. Just, just hear me out here, okay? I mean, the actual sound design of the environments, the music, the sound effects, they're all on point. But the sound coming from the controller on the PlayStation 5 annoys the crap out of me. I get it. I, you understand the suspense you want to reach, but the issue is, is that the controller does not have solid sound hardware on board. What remains is a high pitch, lacking low-end, constant creepy scream or sound of whatever it is. It needs to indicate an enemy is near. Yes, I fully understand that. But it also conflicts with my Dolby Atmos. So the sound always comes from the front, from your controller, but therefore conflicts with what happens on screen when you, for example, turn around. I know, I know, maybe I'm nagging about details, but sound and sound design is just my thing. And I would have at least reconsidered the decision and check it out if you would just integrate it in your normal home cinema experience. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to your opinions on this, peeps. Are you playing, playing the PlayStation 5 right now with Silent Hill? What's your opinion on the audio? Let me know in the comments. Technically, the game looks stunning. So much attention to detail and the environments recapture that mood and feel of the original. 
I must say that the game does suffer from some issues here and there. Ray tracing, ray tracing reflections in water pools flicker a lot. Pop in left and right when it shifts to cutscenes and text on ob objects when interacting with it takes a few seconds to load from blurry to clear to read, but all in all minor. Nothing that could not be fixed with a patch that will eventually come. I know this is a spoiler free thought fits, but I cannot help myself just pointing out the great job Blooper did in making creative decisions. A lot of moments, scenes, events have been changed or left out at all for, well, artistic decisions. And the beauty is that Blooper does, does references the, the original takes, from the original clothing found in a motel to the famous pizza scene. And you guys know what I mean. I think the hardcore Silent Hill fans already know what I'm pointing at if you haven't played it yet. And for the new, the new ones to the Silent Hill franchise, just check the original ones out online and you see the difference. It's all there, but in many occasions just with a small reference. Great job there. The overall package is great. It firmly stands its ground against the game we all love, Silent Hill 2, the original one. And for that, I'm just really, really curious on your thoughts, guys. This is just a spoiler-free thoughts that I have on the game. I don't want to spoil it too much if you haven't played it yet. But are you still pushing to the town of Silent Hill? You haven't played it yet, or you have, and what is your take? For now, guys, see you all in the battlefield. Moment 6 out. I miss you so much. <laughs>